uh, before I, uh, I just, uh, subhanAllah, I'm looking at my list here. Um, unfortunately, um, and I, I don't know, I, I really have not gotten a chance to, uh, uh, to uh, verify your uh, position on this. And uh, please forgive me if, uh, if, uh, if I'm, uh, but we have some brothers here, uh, you know, who, uh, you know, th this, the whole thing is unprecedented, uh, never happened before. And uh, of course, we have imams, we don't have that uh, body of jurists. Uh, where we can, uh, you know, uh, get instruction and, and so forth. And every imam becomes his own uh, faqih, his own jurist. So we got some brothers, mm. unfortunately, in America, uh, introducing the notion of virtual khutbah and imam mm. leading. And of course, for me, this is like, I mean, where in earth do you find an evidence for that when there was no live stream during the time of the Prophet ﷺ, nor a loud speaker? And we, we, we stood and we said, this is, uh, uh, what is your take on this, Sheikh? And I'm sorry, I have not verified your position on this. So, But, but my position, Akhi, is that, as you have stated justly, that we all shoot from the hip, unfortunately. Scholars are numbered, yet because of our exposure in social media, in TV channels, everybody knows us, we think that we're celebrities. So we tend to, mashallah, make our own rules when we don't even may collect the basics. No, we are not scholars. We depend entirely on scholars. We are just a relay station, relay, relaying to the people what we hear from our scholars. We comprehend it, we filter it for them, and Allah gave us the chance to explain it to them. They may think that we are good teachers and we explain things well. This, I asked the mashayikh, the real scholars of Saudi Arabia and elsewhere, and they said that such virtual jama'ah contradicts and defines the word of jama'ah. <laughs> so when you say, let's pray jama'ah, <laughs> so it says, Sheikh, I'll pray behind Sudais. He's in Mecca, but I'm in, my, in the vicinity of my home and I have air conditioning and I can see it on a 50 uh, 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 screen LCD. Man, it's expensive and the haram looks beautiful. So I, he prays and I, this is not jama'ah. You have to be in congregation, ishtima'ah. And this is why scholars say that if I live next to a mosque, a masjid, and I'm, I'm adjacent to it, and I'm in my bedroom, and I can hear the imam loud and clear, can I join the jama'ah with my brother? The answer is no. You have to be physically there. Otherwise, Allah did not order us to do it. And, and what happens if I need to answer the phone or something? Should I put the imam on pause <laughs> and, and I leave? Well, what is this? So, no, Akhi, this is totally not uh, uh, permissible. It's an innovation indeed. May Allah reward you, uh, Sheikh Asim. Alhamdulillah. Very Allah is al khair. Yeah, I mean, you, you're nicer than us. I guess we, we needed to be nice as you to, to be listened to. <laughs> 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 yeah, Jazakallah khair.